Today, I'm going to talk about the top 5 After Effects script that I personally use to increase my workflow while creating templates for video hive. Intro. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new video. Today, I'm going to tell you guys about my top 5 After Effects script that I like to use while working on my video hive projects. It saves me a lot of time and also increases my workflow. Now, creating templates on video hive is not that easy and it takes a lot of time to create a particular template. And by using this script, I have saved a lot of time and I think it's going to help you in the same way. And that is why I thought it will be a very good idea to share it with you guys. And that is what we will be doing today. So let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects and I have created a simple composition to you know explain it to you guys about how the script works and this first script that we will be talking about is the keyframe wingman now it comes in free with the animation composer so you can download it by the way link to every script will be down in the description so you can go ahead and you know download it if it's free and some scripts are going to be paid as well but very you know very at a very low price so yeah so let's take a look how the keyframe wingman helps you in saving your time. So here I have a very simple animation of some circles animating in at different, you know, time. So I'm going to select them all, hit U so we can see the keyframes and you can see we have the circle animations at different, you know, time interval of the timeline. Now let's say I want to animate a different circle, a circle and I want to change the way it animates. So let's select this one. And let's actually select the bigger one. There is this one. I'm going to select this, hit F9 to ease, ease the keyframes, then go into the graph editor. And then I can just tweak it, you know, something like that. And now we have a really interesting animation for that particular circle. Now I want to create the same animation for all the circles. Then what we usually do is if I just select the keyframes again, hold Alt and just click it to make it linear select all the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and now i can just select them and try to make it kind of a similar way you know but the project can get a bit more complex you can do it this way as well but let's say if you have a more complex project it's gonna you know take a lot of time to do that so what you can do is i can select all of them hit f9 and if i go into the graph editor and by the way i'm working in the edit speed graph so now what i can do is i can select all the keyframes and then i can tweak it using just this one slider as you can see just like so i can also unlink this and i can change the way it animates so i can just tweak it like that and we would have a different animation so it makes it very very handy to you know animate it i can just you know leave it at a specific maybe distance maybe let's set the property to 70 and this one just like that so we have a basic animation just like that and now if i move on to a different composition maybe and i want to use the same exact animation i can just click on this icon and then it's going to apply the same exact animation to that particular you know layer so it saves a lot of time instead of just doing it manually again and again you can just use this one tool and control all the animations so yeah so now the second one is the anchor point mover which is very useful when you're working with animation so you have a simple example of a square animation which is happening from the center because the anchor point is set into the center now if the anchor i want to move the anchor point into a different position i can do that manually as well using the pan behind tool i can select it and i can move it anywhere that i want to place or i can turn on the snapping and then just snap it into places whichever place i want so i can snap it and now we should have a different animation as you can see but let's say i have many different composition with with a different anchor point position and i want to replace them in one particular center like i want to place them in one particular place like a center maybe center so what i can do is i can just select this and here we have the move you get keyframe wingman and anchor point mover both the script free with animation composer even animation composer is free so yeah i can select that and then i can again 
click wherever I want to place the particular, you know, anchor point. So there we have it. Very simple and easy. I can also, you know, duplicate this by hitting Control D. I can move this and maybe change the position of the anchor point for this one. And we should have a really simple animation. And that is how you can use it in your projects. All right, so the next script that I'm gonna talk about is the true comp duplicator. Now it is very handy when you want to duplicate the comps again and again, if you want to use the same animation in different, you know, in different videos or different projects with a different color. Now by that, what I mean is, let me just pretty quickly show it to you guys. So you have a pretty simple title design. Now let's say I want to use the title design in one more different video, but I want to change the color of that second title design in a different color. Now, so if, if you do it like this one, maybe I'll just duplicate the true comp duplicator because this is the main composition. So if I hit control D, you will get a second composition, but it contains the same title. So you have to duplicate the title as well. And then after duplicating it, so if I just change the, basically change the color of maybe the first text, so I can go right here and I can just change it to a different color maybe. Now the same color is going to apply, get applied on both the comp, but I want to keep this one white and this one red. So what I would have to do is I would have to select the title one, hit control D again. So we have title two, select the title one, hold alt and replace it with title two. And now if I change the comp again, it's not going to work because we still have to dupl duplicate this text A and text B and the more pre comps you have, the more number of time you have to duplicate that every single pre comp. So this is where true comp duplicator comes in. So if I delete this too, and we are back to scratch. So we have the true comp duplicator. So what I would have to do is just go into the true comp duplicator and we have different number of, you know, properties that we can change. So we can also add a suffix if we want to, you can also search any particular, you know, comp and then replace it with a particular one. But for now, we are just going to use the update expression and we, we I want to create just one copy. You can go and create number and thousands of copies that you want, but I'm just going to create one. And now you can see we have seven items duplicated. So it has duplicated the pre comps as well. So I, I'm just going to hit OK. Now open the true comp duplicator two. We have the title animation for here. We have the blue and the second one is blue. If I go right here, go here and maybe I'll just change the color to a different color. Bam, there we have two different compositions. So it saves a lot of time, helps you. You don't have to duplicate it again and again. The next script I'm going to talk about is the expression universalizer. Now, if you're going to create templates on video, Hive, this is definitely a must have script. Now what the script does is let me just show you guys pretty quick. So here are, again, I have the same example that we saw for the keyframe wingman. The keyframe wingman, I can't even pronounce that properly. And you have a background color controller, which is attached to a main color controller from where I can easily change colors. So if I go into the background properties, you can see I have used the basic expression. When you pick whip this to a new color controller, this is going to be the default expression. Now, if you open the same project in a different After Effects language, so if you open the same project in maybe a Russian After Effects, which contains all the land, all the, you know, text and everything is Russian, it's going to give you errors because we created this expression in the English version of After Effects, and this is not going to work in the Russian version of After Effects. Now to fix that, what you need to do is you need to select the main comp. So in this case, we have the keyframe wingman, which is a main composition go into the expression universalizer and just click on universalize expression. So now it's going to go ahead and make it universalize. So now if I go, you can see we have a different expression and this is the expression that can be open in any language of After Effects. So it's not going to give you any specific errors. And that is how the client or the, the customer who purchases your template is going to easily open it no matter which After Effects version he is using or which you know, which language of After Effects he is using. All right, so in this example here, I have one of my After Effects project for Video Hive. It is a slideshow which contains 
17 media placeholder where you can drag your photos or videos whatever that you want to use now i have my you know 17 videos i have completed making my template i want to add images so i can make a preview video to present my slideshow now you can basically go ahead and open them up individually and drag it individually and just you know hit a scale list to fit it into the comp and you can do that manually but let's say i have more than 50 or 100 placeholders now doing that individually is going to take a hell lot of time so what i like to do is delete it and this is where the photo videos comp to comps script comes into place all i need to do is select them all click on select make sure you are set to landscape if you have a portrait slideshow placeholder you can select portrait you can also go with an original if you want to but i'm going to keep it at landscape then select all the placeholder and just click on apply and bam now all the images are applied into the placeholder just like that just imagine how much time you're going to save in doing this thing now obviously you can anytime go into any placeholder and replace it with a different image so i can just delete it and replace it with any image that i want but if you have your images ready if you have the media placeholders ready you can just drag and drop it using this single script and again all the script that i mentioned in this video are in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out and yeah that is all for today so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative if you're still here make sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the icon right down below also make sure to check out my latest tutorial right over there and my tutorial playlist right over there i don't think the haircut is looking that good i'm i'm kind of feeling embarrassed